All right, we're going to look at Google Forms, Google Forms. And so to get started creating a form, you're going to go to new and you're going to go to more, uh, Google Forms right here. And you can click on this and do a blank form. You can also do templates and so forth, but we're just going to do or you can just click right here and it'll create a blank form. So I'm now in Google Forms. And if you noticed, I was in Google Drive right here. But now it opens a new window, just like all Google apps do here, uh, whether it's Google Docs, Google Sheets. If you're in uh, Google Drive, it'll open a new uh, new tab, I should say. And in the new tab, it says Untitled Form, and this is the form that we're working on. All right, so a few things uh, to look here. We're creating a form, a questionnaire, a survey, something like that, that we want to send out to people, and we want to get their responses. So we're collecting um, a form, or we're making a form and collecting responses uh, from recipients or respondents. So uh, first of all, we're going to name this form something. Now, there's two things here. There's the form that it will be uh, in my Google Drive that I'll see. And so I'm just going to call this, I'm going to make a form, um, ask people about, um, I don't know, their favorite seasons uh, or what they like about the, you know, fall, spring, summer. So um, just to get started here, I'm going to call this uh, seasons and since, you know, I like to identify it a little better because this is one I'm making in um, right now it's the spring of 22. So I'm just going to call it SP22. So um, that's the name of it in uh, my Google Drive. I click off of that and notice um, it also made it the name that the recipients will see. Let me know, show you this. So if I go back to my Google Drive over here, I'll click right here. You'll see it says untitled, but as soon as I refresh that, you'll see that it changed. So that's the name of the form in Google Drive. Let me go back over here, though. And uh, I don't want the um, the recipients or the respondents to to use that title. I'd rather them uh, call it. Um, tell me. Um, about now, let's do something better. The survey of seasons survey. I don't know. Um, okay, I can give the form a description, but I can also just begin um, typing some questions. So a uh, number of things. We'll come back later and look at responses. We can look at our settings. Up here at the top, we'll go through these things as well. But just to get started, let's go ahead and, and type a question. So I'm just going to say, which is your favorite season? Okay, and I'm going to put a question mark on that because it is a question. <laughs> and there's a number of things I can do here. The main thing is I can choose the type of question I want this to be. Now, it Google's pretty smart, and it figured out that I probably would like multiple choice. But let's look at our options here. We could do a short answer. So we could say, what's your favorite season? And they could enter, they could type in fall or spring. Um, we could do multiple choice, or we could do a paragraph if we wanted them to write a, a, a longer paragraph. Multiple choice means they can choose one of the selected answers. Uh, check boxes, let's change it to check boxes and see what happens. If we do check boxes, notice it changes to a square here, but it would allow me to do uh, multiple seasons. So I could do fall. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to do um, summer. Oh, let's do fall. Winter. Let's I'm just clicking down there to the option three and I'm going to do uh, fall, winter. Spring. I pressed enter there and I'm going to do summer. So now in this case, I could actually choose more than one. Uh, I can choose fall and winter as my favorite season. And, if, you know, if I did something like that, uh, I, I could just put, you know, something like that, which is, which is your favorite seasons. So um, it just depends on what we're wanting. Do we want them, them to have to choose one answer or can they choose multiple answers? If I change it back to multiple choice, Notice this is round, but as you click one, it will deselect the other, so you can only choose one. Let's get a few of the other things we have here. A drop down, a drop down list. When you choose that, it looks the same here, but when we actually um, view this, it'll it'll drop down. I tell you what, right off the bat here, let's just talk about how we would view our survey. We can come up here to preview the survey right here. 
So I'm just going to click on preview and you'll see this is a drop down list and see how I can click it and it drops down. This is um, this is helpful because um, it takes up less screen space. So if somebody's trying to fill this form out on, let's say, a phone, this would be a really helpful. It'd be, it's the same as multiple choice, but it, uh, it's less screen space. So I want to go back. This, this is my preview. And by the way, I would be, um, if I fill this out and click submit, it actually would re be one of my responses. So that's a way we can fill out the form or test the form. But I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to leave that open. <clears throat> And I'm going to change this again to and talk about some of these other things. It, we can file, upload a file if we want them to do that. Um, you know, we could they could submit a picture or a PDF or some such thing. There's something called a linear scale, and we'll get to that in a second. And multiple choice grid, uh, these others, we'll get uh, to in just a second. So I'm just going to leave this like this. Um, I'm going to make them choose one um, by doing a drop down list. Now, how do I add another question? Well, I'm going to click the plus button right here and it adds a question and you can scroll up and down and see, look, I've already got the first question. So I'm going down to the second question and I'm going to say, um, what do you like about the fall? I never know to capitalize for that fall. OK, and so I might want to um, I mean, I could just leave it as a paragraph. That's what it's thinking. But I could do short answer um, or, or multiple all of these again. Uh, I could I can do any of these. Let's just do a short answer right now. And then um, let's take a look at it and see uh, how it looks over here when I preview. I may have to refresh this. So now I've got a drop down. What is your favorite season? I could do winter and then I could say, what do you like about the fall? And maybe add some more questions. What do you like about the winter and so forth? All right. So I'm going to go back over here. And a couple of things. If I don't like the order, I can move these around by by by, by clicking on this. I can move them up. Do you all see that? I can move it back down. That's the way we can change the order. Um, there's a couple of other things I can do as well. Uh, I can make this a required question uh, so that they have to they have to before they can submit, they will have have to they will have had to have answered this question. You just turn that on to required. Let me go ahead and make this one required. I don't know why, but I'm just going to do that one. And um, I can also duplicate that that question. That's nice. I can create another question very similar to it or I could delete that question. Um, one last thing I'll talk about over here. You can click these the more button here and you can see you can add a description for that uh, and you can do something called response validation. I'm going to talk more about that in a second, but this is where you can uh, force a person to enter only certain information so that your responses are more valid. And we'll talk about that in just a second. OK, so that's how the basically how I would um, create questions for uh, a survey.